yourself enough space. We got Dumbbell Express full body. Are you ready? We're going to start to do some cardio and then we'll do some body weight movements to warm up and then we'll hit the weights. All right? Here we go. Jack it out, my friends. Jack it out. Now, remember, if you're not one to jump, you can always step it out. Step it out. If you have shoulder issues, right here, keep those arms down if you need to. Come on, let's go. Jump it if you can. Come on. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one. Puddle jump, side to side. Like you're hopping over a puddle. You don't want to get those new shoes dirty, do ya? Hopping over that puddle. You got it, side to side. Now, again, if jumping's not for you, side step, side step. But hop it if you can, hop it if you can. Four, three, two, one, run in place. Run in place, kick the butt. Run in place, kick the butt. Get those arms going too, get those arms going. Now, again, Slow it down if you need to. You choose your level. You got this. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Jack it out one more time. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Hop over that puddle. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more, then you take that foot behind you and start to reach down to that foot like a skater. Only if you're ready. And only start to reach just a little bit first. Make sure that lower back's nice and warmed up before you start to reach any lower. Five, four, three, two, run in place, kick them up. Get those arms going. Woo! You should be breathing hard here. You got this. Come on. Finish strong. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Oh, shake it out. Side steps. Side steps. Give yourself some huggers. Woo! Good job. Sip that water. Beautiful job, my friends. Take it. Woo! Check in. How you feel? I'm right here with you. A little breathy. You feel like you have to catch your breath. That's what we want. That is what we want, my friends. Yes. Woo, you got this. All right. Have that water nearby. Woo. All right. We're gonna do some uh, body weight squats. We're, again, we're gonna start out with body weight first and then we'll, cut, we'll hit the weights, okay? All right, let's warm up those legs. Now, a little bit wider than the hips to start a regular squat. Toes are forward unless it feels better for your knees for those toes to kick out just a little bit. Remember, we're hinging at the hips first, okay? So, hinge at the hips, nice and tall spine. Hinge, sit, up, squeeze the butt. Hinge, sit, up. Now, when you, if you're first starting out with squats, practice that hinge first, okay? And take it to like two separate movements until you get used to it, then you can start to squat it down and it'll come more naturally. The biggest thing, my friends, you're squatting right now. The biggest thing is you don't wanna just sit into the knees. See all that pressure that goes into those knees. You gotta hinge, sit it back. It's gonna really start to warm up those glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down as low as you can. Little pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Round two, here we go. Same stance, same stance. I'm just gonna face forward, okay? All right, here we go. Down and up, squeeze the glutes. Down and up. Now, if you need to go slower than me, that's fine. You go at your own pace to make sure your form is correct. Okay, form first, then fast. Once you get it down, you go a little bit quicker. You're timed here, about five more seconds. Four, three, two, hold it down. Little pulse. Six, four, three, two, and one. Good job. 
Shake it out if you need to. Reset. One more round. One more round here. One more round. All right. Shake it out if you need to, right? All right. Make sure you keep that chest and head up. Here we go. Ready? Down and up. Good. 20 seconds here. So you go at your own pace. Hinge down, up and squeeze. Remember, if squats aren't for you, you can use that chair. Good. And you only go as low as you feel comfortable. Good. Four, three, two, hold it down. Good. Push through those heels a little bit more than the rest of the foot, just a little bit. And pull. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Shake it out. Shake it out. Give me some nice little spinal twists here. Woo. Good job. Bring one knee in, hug it in. The other knee in, hug it in. Good. And just switch nice and easy. You can hold on to the thigh or the shin. You can do this from your chair too if needed. Woo. A couple more. Good job. All right. Now you can get that mat out. Go down to the mat for your push ups. Now, if push-ups on the mat on the floor is just not for you find a countertop okay or a piece of wall that you have open that you can use the wall arms are regular to start so not narrow and not wide okay so if you have a traditional yoga mat you're gonna be just inside the mat width okay now if you're on the floor you can be on the knees just make sure that the hips are forward belly button is pulled in and up here we go we're gonna go for ten here count to yourself nine eight Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, nice and safely. Oops, nice and safely. Come on up. Take your time. Right? Yes, always take your time. Good, roll it on up, shoulders down and back. Good, pour yourself some huggers. Shake it out, a little dynamic stretching, yes. Pour yourself some huggers, because y'all deserve some hugs here, yes. Hug it out, hug it out. All right. Now we're gonna superset those push-ups with nice wide sumo squats. So, legs out, toes out towards the corners of the room. Now, you're more than welcome to add weight here, but we're gonna do these again with weight. So, I would highly recommend doing body weight to start, okay? So, same concept here. You're gonna hinge first, then lower the booty, then come up, okay? So, same concept. Your feet are wider than the mat here. You're gonna hinge, then sit down. Come on up, squeeze the inner thighs. Here we go, ready? You only got 15 seconds here. Good. So focus on that form. Make sure you're going down nice and evenly and coming up nice and evenly. Good. So what we don't want is we don't wanna like push over to one side. I'm over, over exaggerating there. <laughs> but just to let you know, to think about it. Good, you got four. Three, two, one, and done. No pulse here, just come on up. And then come on down to that mat for wide push-ups. Now you're gonna take those hands out wider than the mat. Wider than the mat. All right, so my middle finger kind of lines up with the, the edges of the mat. Come on in, ready? Here we go, down and up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five. Now I'm asking for 10 here, but 10 might not be your magic number today, and that's okay. Last one. Good job. If you're just starting out with push-ups, you might only get a few, and that's okay, okay? All right. Woo. One more set of squats here, but this time we're bringing it in narrow, about two fist distance apart. Same concept here, toes are forward, Hinge at those hips, then sit it down. Come on up, squeeze the butt. Now, when you're squatting, your core is engaged. Belly button pulls in and up. Good. Nice, tall, long spine. Squeeze the glutes at the top. And you only go as low as you can comfortably. Good. You got five more seconds. Four. Three. Two. And one, beautiful job, come on up. All right, one more set of push-ups, this time narrow. So you're gonna bring them into where those wrists are in line with the shoulders. And you're gonna scrape those elbows by your sides, okay? All right, come on down. 
Again, use the countertop if you need to. Here we go. Nice and narrow. These are the hardest of the three. At least for me they are. Here we go. Ready? Down and up. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Again. You may not get ten. That's okay. Listen to your body. Nice and gently. Come on up. Beautiful job, my friends. Shake it out. Woo, sip your water. Good job. How do you feel? How do you feel? We are going to hit those weights. Are you ready? All right, grab your dumbbells or your water jugs, whatever you got. If you do have different size weights, start low, and then you can always work your way up, especially if you're just working out in the morning. You want to make sure that body's fully, fully awake. Okay, we're going to do some deadlifts, straight legged deadlifts. So that same form that you have at the feet, two fist distance, toes forward. Now the legs are straight, but a micro bend in those knees, okay? Nice and tall, shoulders down and back, and then you're gonna rotate those arms forward. Dumbbells together in front, palms face the thighs. Keep the spine nice and long, shoulders back. Now, nice and safely, you're gonna lower down as low as you can without rounding out the shoulders, and come back up, squeeze the butt. The dumbbells stay nice and close to those thighs, like you're shaving your legs. Nice and close. Good, nice, slow and controlled. Come on up, squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward slightly. Which will happen when you squeeze the glutes. Good job, come on up. These are nice, slow and controlled. Shoulders stay down and back. Now, I'll show you what we don't want. It's not about how close you get to the ground. Because a lot of people will round out the shoulders and really reach those dumbbells to the floor. It's about keeping that back in alignment and shoulders down and back. Good job, guys. You got this. 10 seconds. 10 seconds here. Good job. This, we're doing this move for 30 seconds. You got five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful job. Bring those dumbbells to your sides, hammer curls, hammer curls. So, always check your posture. Toes forward, about two fist distance between those feet. Nice and tall, belly's pulled in and up. Good, two fist distance between those feet. Slight bend in those knees, nice and tall. Hammer curls right here. All the way up, all the way down. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze those arms at the top. You got this, come on. Good. We're here for 30 seconds. You're already halfway. Good, you got this. Breathe. Smile. Trick your brain into thinking you're having fun. I hope you're having fun. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back to those straight-legged deadlifts. Here we go, round two, ready? Down and up, 30 seconds here. So take your time. Up, squeeze. Good, again. Listen to that body. Start out going just a little bit, and then come on up, warming up that lower back. Good, and then you can start to gradually go a little bit lower. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hammer curls, here we go. Round two. Good job, 30 seconds here. Beautiful, curl. Now we're making sure that we're in control of those dumbbells. They're not swinging, right? We're not swinging those weights. You control the down, control the up, 10 seconds. So, if you start to swing, slow it down. Breathe, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Now, if you need to take a break, take it. If not, we're going to do those two moves one more time. 30 seconds each. Here we go. Get your posture nice and tall. Ready? Three, two, and one. Here we go. Down and up. Squeeze the glutes. Down and up. Squeeze the glutes. Remember that slight bend in the knees. Good. Nice long spine. If you're able to look at yourself in a mirror to double check and make sure that you're in alignment, or if you have a friend or family member nearby, you can always double check. You got five seconds. Three, two, 
and one. Beautiful job. Hammer curls. Here we go. Up, bend down. Good job. 30 seconds. Woo. So, let's talk about breathing. You want to make sure you're exhaling on the curl. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. So, if you need to slow it down to your breath, you can. Breathing is way more important. Yes, I want to make sure you're breathing. Come on. 10 seconds. Good job. And remember, you can increase your weight if you need to. You're just starting out. Start low. Three, two, and one. Good job. Nice and safely set those dumbbells down. Have a sip of water. So you start off nice and low when you're first starting out with weight. Strength, uh, uh, strength training, dumbbell training, weight training. Um, and then you listen to your body. Notice how you feel the next day and two days after. And notice what's sore. And if, it's, if you're a little bit sore, a little bit of soreness is good. You want to be a little bit sore so you feel like you work the muscles. But if you're not sore at all, then you might need to up the, the reps or the weight. Um, now, if you're extremely sore, you might need to take the weights down or eliminate them altogether until your body gets used to this kind of movement, okay? All right, my friends, two new moves. Grab those dumbbells. Woo! Back and biceps. All right, so get your good posture. Two fist distance, toes forward, nice and tall. We're gonna fly. Now, you always have the option to come into the chair and lean forward and fly here, okay? I'm gonna turn that music up for hair. How about a hair? Come on, music, let's go. Yeah. All right, here we go, ready? Nice and tall, hinge forward, palms face each other. Fly, release, fly, release. 30 seconds, let's go. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Squeeze. Squeeze. Now, the arms are straight with a micro bend in those elbows. Just a slight bend. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. 10 seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, beautiful job. Stand nice and tall. Now, we're gonna take those dumbbells overhead for a tricep extension. I'm gonna bring my chair here because I don't wanna go out of the frame. You can sit down if you need to. Stand if you can. Dumbbells up, together. Bend at the elbows, extend. Bend, extend. Bend, extend. Now, 30 seconds. If two weights is too much, take one weight up, bend, extend. Bend, extend. You got it. Adjust your weight to what you need. You got it. Good. Keep those elbows in. Don't let them flare out. Keep them in. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Since I'm here in the chair, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you from the chair. Feet and knees together, dumbbells at your sides. We're gonna fly. Hinge forward. Fly, release. 30 seconds. So this is an option for you. Or standing. Belly button pulled in and up. Core engagement. Very important. If you're not sure your core is engaged, watch my core engagement video. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sit it tall or stand. Now remember, wherever you are, seated or standing, with that weight overhead, you want to make sure not, don't let the belly go. Make sure that belly stays in and up nice and strong, especially when we take weights overhead, okay? Here we go, 30 seconds starting right now. Bam, good. You got it. Breathe. Now, if overhead is not for you, you can also be right here. Kick it back. Okay? This is a tricep extension as well. Together. Up, up and over. 30 seconds. Make sure you extend all the way up. Keep those biceps near the ears. Take your time. Breathe. 15 seconds. Left hand. Five, four, three, two, 
One is done. Woo -hoo -hoo. Beautiful job. Set those weights down. Sip your water. Great job, my friends. Great, great job. Woo -hoo. Oh yeah. Sip your water. How are you feeling? Check, check in. How are you feeling? Give yourself some shoulder rolls, some huggers. All right. We're going to come into um, some chest and tricep work. So we are going to come down to the mat. You can use the chair if you need to and lean back and gently press. We're going to do a press. I'm so sorry. No, we're going to do a fly. We're flying today. Since we flew with our back, we're going to fly with the chest, okay? So we're going to do some flies and then some, uh, we already did triceps. Shoulders is what I need. That's what I need. I need shoulders. So let's go down. Let's do our chest flies. Then we'll come up and finish the shoulders. Sound good? All right. I got to make sure to get all those body parts, my friends. All right. So come on down. Remember, you can adjust your weight if you need to. I have eights down here, so I'll use my eights. All right. Nice and safely, come on down to your mat. Onto the booty. Lay it down. Grab those dumbbells. Lay it down nice and easy. Alright. We make sure. So, laying down. Neck is nice and long. Good. There we go. Alright. Dumbbells up to the sky. Palms face each other. Ready? Here we go. Open and close. Good, so, there's a slight bend in the elbow. You got this, here we go. Four, actually 30 seconds, you got 20 left. Good job. 10 seconds. Exhale on the up, inhale down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, create enough space here, a little bit of space, and you're going to bring the elbows down to the floor, push up. Down to the floor, push up. Push. Chest press. Narrow. These will be our two moves here. Good job. So it's a little bit different than our wide chest press. Ten seconds. Those are our two moves. Rest only if you need to. Three, two, one. And one, ready? Chest five. Open and close. You got it. Good job. Woohoo! Breathe. Ten seconds. Transitioning into that press right away. Five, four, three, two. And one, narrow chest press, down and up. Just like when we do those narrow push-ups, the elbows scrape the sides, punch the ceiling with those dumbbells. Good job, you got this. Woo, 15 seconds. Keep going, you got this, come on. Finish strong, we got one more set. You take breaks if you need to, and then jump right back in, okay? Five, four, three, two, and one, ready? Chest fly, last time. 30 seconds. Breathe. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Close. Never gonna give up. Good job. 15 seconds. Grab those dumbbells. Sip your water if you need to. 
grab those dumbbells. Nice and light. You don't need very heavy here, okay? All right, check your posture. Let me back up for you. Check your posture. Toes forward, knees slightly bent. Belly in. Ready? 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Okay, we're not up here. We're not down here. Parallel to the floor. Shoulder fly. Ready? Up and down. Up and down. Good. Now, make sure that the wrists stay in line with the elbows and elbows with the shoulders. 20 seconds. 90 degrees. You got this.
And if ever there is an exercise that I do, and I don't give you an adequate option for you, please let me know. Put in the comments. Comment, let me know. Message me, whatever you want to do. I need to know those things if I forget to cue a modification or you need something totally different if you're uh, nursing an injury or something. I'm happy to help. Don't hesitate to reach out, okay? All right, gently release. Inhale, take those arms open. Open up the chest. Heart open. Now, you, if you can, you can clasp those hands behind you. Reaching up with those hands, opening up the chest and shoulders, yes? <laughs> Good. And then gently release, clasp those hands in front, and then push the palms forward and round out the back. Tuck the chin in slightly. You can even shimmy a little bit side to side. Good, inhale, open, woo, clasp behind. And then gently release, clasp in front, round it out. Feel free to watch one of my stretch videos if you need more stretching. All right, gently release, couple of shoulder rolls. Let's definitely get a couple of the legs. Grab that foot, get a nice little quad stretch. You can use a wall or a chair for balance if you need to. Keep the next legs together, push the hips forward. Good, gently release, other side. Whoop, don't fall over. <laughs> Breathe. Good job. Stretching very important, especially after you work out because you're already warm. You want the body to be nice and warm when you when you stretch. Good job. Last time. Now, split stance. Do a nice little hamstring stretch. Maybe two or three times. Inhale up. Exhale. Hamstring. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale. Hamstring. You can put those toes on the ground and then roll it on up and then we'll do the other side. Toes up first. Inhale up. Exhale. Reach. You may also do this from a chair. Inhale up, exhale, lengthen, good, last time, inhale tall, exhale, lengthen, and then roll that toe onto the floor, and then roll it on up, beautiful job my friends, give yourself some more huggers, inhale those arms up, exhale, give yourself a round of applause, you did it, workout Wednesday complete, I appreciate you guys for being here, I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, wonderful rest of your week ahead and I will see you soon. Bye guys, until next time.